air. First, Virginia Beach could use some of that money. The city manager has to find $90 million. That's the deficit in the budget. His proposal cut 15 positions and raise real estate taxes four cents on the dollar. Half that money raised will go to schools, which is short $36 million. Then in your size, Jason Marks is live at one of the schools that could feel the pinch. Jason? Yeah, and Tom, all the schools here in Virginia Beach will feel, feel the pinch if the school system is shorted that money. Now, a couple weeks ago, the school board asked the city council to give them an additional $36 million. That money used for day-to-day -day operation. We now know that they might have to do with much less. In short, it's time for a reality check. Virginia Beach City Manager Jim Spohr laid out next year's proposed budget. Just like much of the area, his city, too, is facing a shortfall. We knew that FY13 was going to be another difficult year from a budgetary standpoint. For the last month, all eyes have been on SPORE, waiting to see the budget. The most interested party was the Virginia Beach schools. We're disappointed, but yet, you know, we're not surprised. The school system had asked for $36 million in additional funding, money they say they need to operate. SPORE says the city can only give back half. To continue the education that Virginia Beach has experienced um, in the past, we don't want to cut them now. Spore says there isn't more money for schools because of the ongoing recession. Real estate values are down again and have been for the last four years. Plus, federal stimulus money for schools has run dry. Those cuts cannot happen. Quinn Constance is an eighth grader at Princess Anne Middle. He, like many other students, is fearful that the school system doesn't get what it needs. Programs could be eliminated. I made it into the academy at Salem. I mean, I wouldn't be able to go there because my parents work in the morning. So we definitely st need to keep um, pushing our city council. School officials have flirted with the idea of cutting academy transportation and getting rid of middle school and JV sports. Money still could be coming back from the state. But if not, tough decisions are coming which means the budget battle is far from over. Oh, no, we're not done. No, we will continue working for whatever it takes to fund what the school system needs. School officials will now look towards the General Assembly as it continues to finalize the state's budget. Hopefully, the General Assembly will send some money back here to Virginia Beach. Schools will have to wait and see if that happens. I can tell you next Tuesday, the school board, along with the Virginia Beach City Council, they're going to have a joint meeting. All the members are going to be there where they're going to continue to hash out this idea of the budget, see if they can close the gap a little bit more. That's the latest here at Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Virginia Beach is the largest city in Virginia. Virginia. It affects 439,000 citizens, so leaders have set up an open house to talk about it. April 5th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Virginia Beach Convention Center near the oceanfront. Then it's two public hearings before the budget goes to a vote. April 18th at 6 p.m. at Cox High School and April 24th at 6 p.m. City Council Chambers, of course, that being at City Hall.